But I'm not maceless. Seconds to battle. First blood. First blood. It shall be duly noted. The battle begins. That wasn't too bright. I may be faceless, but I'm not maceless. Interesting. Mine, I say, mine.
Radiant's courier has been killed. Bottom tower is under attack. is under attack. Dire this structures are fortified. Time is money. Middle Tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's Middle Tower is under attack. Doesn't it? Radiant's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. been killed. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Bottom 
tower has been denied. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Grievous misunderstanding. Stroke. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. That great lead they had with Natsumi now because KP's just caught up. Now Mac is chasing Tim's now on the Marana. Almost finds the kill and he will actually get it in the end. March, I think he may have actually blocked Tim's in the tree line with one of those uh, uh, one of those creeps. Not 100 percent sure on that one, but it did look that way. Still though. Three to two now. 2k net worth lead remaining for the side of TNC. Their farm still escalating quite well. I mean, Armel almost 6.3k now. Gabby at 5.2. Also at 5.3 on the Broodmother. But if you don't get some amazing stance on the Brood, she tends to not really be a hero throughout that mid to late game. And I'm not sure if Max got him the start he really needed uh, to be a big presence yet. Yeah, it's not quite there yet. It's building up wait for that Ags to come out and still gotta wait for a droid to start building around this Broodmother and the aggression they could pump out. But as of yet, not. It's definitely not quite there yet. They are trying to posture for top lane once again. Gabby Dyer's is all alone, so it's three heroes once more, although Dyer's March is around the area this time. Well, you, have, you have Chrono in about 20 seconds. So they, they can buy the time. They could get a massive team fight out of this. Gabby will show himself. And it looks like just his presence alone will force Adroit to back off. Now Tim's and March will show themselves as well. They're still going to remain in that top lane, but they aren't finding the T1 that they wanted. Ooh, Matt mango finds himself a mango tree. I wonder if he's going to plant that at the red spot. I mean, you'd imagine he would go for the Roshan plant, right? Like, it just seems too powerful to not do that. With a hero like Brood as well, that just gives you so much control of that area. You can really just start laying it onto the Rosh quite safely early on. The bot lane, they have found KP on the bench, and he should drop the no, the march here with oh. KP. He survives for just a bit. He does eventually go down, but Armel wow. will find a double kill. A great turnaround, and it's all just thanks to having that outpost. They were all able to rotate down and help him out. Now Gabby has the chrono to use, so he's just hoping. Oh. Team Melon, the time walk. Time walk will be there. Oh, Another man. match, and that'll be the death of CML. Yeah, that's unfortunate for the droid. That is going to be the tier one going down as well. They are going to try to apply some pressure on the top tier one of TNC. It's not the same pushing with an LC though. Definitely not. KP will be going up there to defend. Certainly losing his bot T1 though it looks like. 
Well, no, maybe Tims won't be able to get the job done as Boomy does come in to defend that one. The top oh. lane, the fight is breaking out as Bob has gone way too far and does end up going down. And Gabby with this extremely fast Maelstrom is seemingly going to make a lot of work happen in this game. I mean, he had that Maelstrom like him. around 12 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's uh, just about as good as Raven's timing on his Midas. But you have a lot more utility from that item here as you need a way of clearing out those Broodlings, you need a way of clearing out those Summons. The Maelstrom's going to do that for you quite well. It still accelerates your farm quite nicely and gives him a lot more presence in these early fights. So I like that pickup from Gabby. He has been working it quite well. That's going to give him the Tier 1 up top now. But you are seeing a great posture down bot. Well, they dream call up Tims. Tims should just be dead here, but Armel trying to help him out. Still, he couldn't quite do so. And they will find that bot T tower. Of course, Gabby was able to find the top T1. Oh, 5 to 6. 2k net worth lead still remaining for the side of TNT. Let's zoom in on the gyrocopter. Trying to go for that Sergeant Yasha now. He just picked up the drums. It's still not the fastest process in the world for Natsumi. Like, considering the start he had, he has fallen behind in net worth. And it just doesn't seem like he's able to keep up with the side of TNC. Outposts, take the northwest one. They start posturing again around that top T1 tower, oh, but they are ready to defend on the side of TNC. They'll have at least two supports there. Dyer's top tower is under Can they attack. defend though with just these supports? Looks like they will be able to in CML. He'll drop a tombstone down. KP looking to take it out straight away. And now the rotations come in. Gabby, he goes oh. green after the chrono and does find two in it. First Boomy goes down. Then Bob goes down as well. And he's looking for even more. He won't quite find anything, although maybe he will. There's a spider in the tree line right now. Gabby won't chase any further. They lost the T1 tower, but they get two kills out of it. That's not too bad for the side of TNC. Definitely so. That's a nice little set of kills going away of TNC. I'm sure they don't mind losing that tier one as much. And they already took the tier one in the opposite in any way. So now the outpost is just going to be a bit of a toss up as to who rotates more often up top. Not going to be an easy time for either side. Also, really nice to take Radiance note that Gabby does have the imp claw now. So he has a guaranteed crit every 10 seconds. And that's a good amount of damage here that blocked him to find these early chrono kills even faster absolutely especially if you get the back proc on the crit in that but the uh the mioli will be up pretty darn soon for gabby as well in fact i think he has it coming out right now no nope, that's just a ward regeneration the droid smoked up where do you go though They'll loop around up towards that top lane where March will be with KP. But no, they'll change their minds. They're heading towards the mid lane now. Armel, though, has a Shadow Blade up. He could just break the smoke. Looks like it won't even matter anyway. The smoke is about to wear off. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They're looping Dyer's around now to that bot lane where they find Tim's. Natsumi will find the courier Radiant's of March and will take it out, but Tim should be able to get out of there safely. In fact, he throws an arrow out, but he's still around the area. You have to leap out and TP, and that's exactly what he does. It looks like Adroid will just have to settle for taking back that outpost. Yeah, uh, unfortunately not the best use of the smoke. They surely were looking for a kill there. But TNC is just playing really defensively. It's 5-8, to eight, 2k lead for TNC, not a big amount. But they are taking their time here. They understand that as this game goes on, they can build up on their void. 
you do have to kind of worry about that brood getting a bit big. And you know, let's face it, like Mac is not really shut out. He's just about 300 gold behind that, you know. So he has ways to would be a nuisance in this game again. He already he's had his eggs for a while, and he's working towards his defusal next. So he still has room to really be a menace here. Well, meanwhile, it looks like the Gyrocopter changed his item build. So rather than going for the Sergeant Yasha, he's opted to go for the Agony Scepter first. See how that pans out for him. TNC. Currently in the Moonlight Shadow. You can see a droid. Gabby, he oh has boy. the chrono. Does he find a big one? Oh, he gets one. So his giant comes to the mode. Converts down Bottom Thumb. Not quite not to do. Will be okay. In fact, they found Bok on the lead of Amanda. Armel gets that kill. And now Max gone as well. The Brood Mother. But even with a. I would argue a bad chrono. They still managed to find a two for nothing trade for the side of TNC. And I believe Armel may have got some jewel damage. In fact, he did. Yeah, that's that's not the best signs here for a droid. That was a uh, less than optimal chrono. It's just that TNC is that much drawn at this point. They had better precision there. Set to be aggressors though, and it does pay off. And we'll get to keep the rush for free. And I actually don't see the mango tree planted anywhere. I'm not, not that win win. Hmm. Just go on, Joe. That's disappointing. It is? It, it literally is just gone. Nobody has it. Our gift from the goddess. Fair enough. Dims. I'll find Boomy down at the bot lane. Does get used up. There is a dream call there from Boomy, but he doesn't commit it quite yet. Guns. Oh, another dream call will come out, and this should just be an easy kill onto Tim's. They will find it. Unfortunately, those CMLs the one to take it on the Undying. Not really how you want to split that gold from Tim's, but still, they do find the kill regardless. Only problem is the mid lane. Armel finds Mac on the brood. Yeah, that's that's really not what you want to be seeing at this point. 21 minutes in, Brood Mother is at third place in that it. They haven't really melted all the towers you want a Brood Mother to melt at this point. And as that clock keeps tick ticking, the effectiveness of that hero starts to dwindle. And there's only so much you can do with a Brood as for that late game. Gabby, gonna go after Bok. No Chrono, but may not even need it as the Swamp is there for KB and the Magic Missile. Now the LSA, they just controlled him up and he just goes down. Now Gabby will go after CML on the Undying and just rip him apart. Boom, gonna get caught out it looks like. He'll go to stun, but it doesn't matter as Armel's on a triple. And it's just turning into a very one-sided game now for TNC. As they're going after the tier 3 tower now at 22 minutes in. And I don't believe a droid can actually stop them from doing this. No, they definitely can't. I mean, Armel is 9-0 to zero right now. He's had an excellent run down mid. They do buy back. They're going to try to defend. Well, Swamp is there on to me. Now the Chrono straight away. The Gyrocopter is just gone. <laughs> No buyback available on Natsumi. <laughs> That'll mean at least a mid rat's being taken here for TNC. They're gonna try and defend it, looks like KP. He'll throw out a magic missile on CML. They have thrown the dream call out as well. Matt, who are you going for? He's trying to find a target, but they're just essentially kiting him around. Gabby now fighting CML on the Undying. And no, never mind, just go for Mac instead. They'll oh, burst man. down the Broodmother. CML now just trying to run the hell out of there. Armel finding a secondary onto Bok. Now they'll find Boogie, and that's GG well played. TNC, this is more like the TNC we know, Chon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that performance from RL, 11th 